guy. Today, I am going to teach you how to solve the V cubed 6. <clears throat> but first, you need to know on how to solve the 3x3, the 4x4, and 5x5 cubes. But since this cube is so expensive, you probably already own them and thereby know how to solve them. But nonetheless, I have made tutorials on how to solve each of those cubes. And if you don't own any of those cubes, check out the Gavisoft Cube Simulator. It's a free download, and the link to that is also in the movie description. Now, just know what about my V-Cube 6 here is I have cut my own tiles for it, which is really nice, and I have also modified it so that the clicking has been greatly reduced, and along with popping and lockups and that kind of thing. And also, it's been well used, and it was lubricated with Vaseline for quite a while, and that ate away the plastic, so it's kind of loose. Now, for the most part, I'm just going to be doing a silent walkthrough, so I'll be pointing to each piece that I'm going to be dealing with. But when I get to the last two centers, then I'll speak up and start going in, into more depth on how to do it. And that goes for the edge pairing, too. Alright, let's get to it! Now, first off in my walkthrough, I will start with the black center, then do yellow, then do blue, then do red, and then I will go into detail on how to do the last two centers. Okay, there. Now that I've got the red center done, I know that orange goes over here because orange is opposite yellow. Now what we want to do for the last two centers is create a 1x4 bar, either an inner or an outer one. But after we create, like, let's say an inner one, you want to create an outer one next. And then after where you can create a 1x4 bar on, over here, it doesn't matter which order after you get the first two done. So I will make a 1x4 bar using this piece and this piece. Okay, and since I did an outer 1x4 bar first, I want to make sure to do an inner 1x4 bar, and I can create one easily like this. Okay, now it doesn't matter whether or not you do an inner or an outer 1x4 bar. And I will do an outer one, so I can see that I can connect this piece with these two up here. And then I want to try to connect this one 
with these three. And just like I said in my 1x5 tutorial, like you can't bring this up to connect it with that. So you need to rotate these pieces up here so that you can push this out of the way for the time being. And then you can rotate this down, pull it back, and then you can pair it up correctly. Okay, now in this case, I can simply take this centerpiece and put it in between these two, just like this. Okay, now what we want to do is take the centerpiece and put it down here. So I'm going to rotate this over so that when I go up to grab the centerpiece, it also pushes that out of the way. Now you got to be careful when this happens, because when you have the centerpiece in the wrong position, then you can't bring it up to pair it. So if that happens with you, just rotate this so that you can push that out of the way again, then rotate the center up into the right position, and then you can go up and grab the centerpiece. Now I will also do two more walkthroughs on solving the last two centers. Okay, now I'm going to create a bar using these pieces and this one. There. Okay, then I'll use these pieces here. Okay, now this can be kind of tricky because you can't get a piece right here to go up in between these two and form a 1x4 bar, and you can't also turn it down like this because you've got a 1x4 bar already in there. Now what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to take this as a piece and rotate it up here. So I'm going to so I'm going to do it like this, but I don't want to mess up this bar here. So I'm going to bring this over here so that when I bring this up, it gets pushed out of the way and then I'm going to rotate this and bring it into place. Then I can take that centerpiece up and bring it down over here. And again, notice that since I created an inner 1x4 bar, I did an outer one next. Now since three pieces are already connected here, I will use that. So I'm going to take that up to the top square, and then I can just simply use this piece and this piece to form it. Then I can bring it down here. Okay, now I, I went ahead and moved around the centers to help you show a special case. Now here, I do not have any of the center pieces already connected. Now what I want to do when this happens is you want to get one corner down into this slot. So I'm going to do this. Then I want to connect this corner center with one of these, I guess I'll call them edge centers. Just like that. Although you can also do it like this, it doesn't really matter. And then push that out of the way. And, oh, that also created one there, too, but that doesn't matter. Now, you want to get another corner down here, and don't worry about this center edge. That'll just get in the way. So, I'm going to push this one out of the way and bring the corner down there. Okay, now, I can't take this corner and pair it up with this one, because this is also in the wrong position. So, I'm going to rotate this up and bring that down like this. Then, I can pair this one up with these. And then, bring that down here. Now, believe it or not, this will be the best that you can do in creating the last 1x4 bar sometimes. So you want to rotate it so that each center is basically looking the same way. Then you want to take the three 1x4 bars that you've already made and bring it up like this. This will create a 1x4 bar with the last center. So rotate this over and bring that down here. Or you could also bring it down like this. It doesn't matter. Then rotate it back and bring up this, and that will complete the remaining 1x4 bars. And there you go. Okay, now for the final walkthrough on the last two centers. Now I find that I can take this and pair it up with that one. There we go, and then I can... Now, remember, I need to do an inner 1x4 bar next, and I find that I can take this center and put it in there. Okay, and I find I can connect these easily. Now that was actually a pretty easy setup. Okay, and I went ahead and switched around the centers again so that I could show you this case. Now what you want to do is get one of these center pieces on it down in here. So just go ahead and, and grab them like that. Then you want to pair it up with one of these center edges. Like this. And then just get that out of the way, and also, if you can, try to get this down here, too. And you want to pair this center up with these two that are already paired. And, as you can see, it's rotated wrong. And so, I'll fix that. Okay, now I can pair it up with them. Now, this 
is the best that you can do for an inner 1x4 bar. So just go ahead and bring that down here. And then match this center up with that. And then we do that little trick again. Bring up the three 1x3 bars that you've already done. And then, it doesn't matter how you rotate it, you can rotate it this way, bring it down like that, or rotate it this way and bring it down like that. And then rotate this back, bring up this 1x3 bar, and that forms 1x4 bars, and then you can set it up. Okay, I believe that's all I need to show you for setting up the centers. If you find a case that I did not show you, then just experiment around with it. You should be able to figure it out based on all the information that I've already given you.